Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom, Makim. This is the brother Aaron, and today we're going to go over a class concerning your thoughts. So let's jump into it. The Lord knows. This is Genesis 6 and 5. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. So we see that Yahweh saw that every imagination of the thought of man's heart was evil continually. And he knows this because he searches all hearts. This is First Chronicles 28, 9. And thou, Solomon, my son, know thou the God of thy father and serve him with a perfect heart and with a willing mind. For the Lord searcheth all hearts and understandeth all the imaginations of the thoughts. If thou seek him, he will be found of thee. But if thou forsake him, he will cast thee off forever. So we see that the Lord searches all hearts, which is speaking of your mind which means all of your works and all of your secrets are before him, even the imagination of the thoughts of your mind. This is 2nd Ezra 16 and 54. Behold, the Lord knoweth all the works of men, their imaginations, their thoughts, and their hearts. So we see that the Lord knows all the works of men. So we must understand that there are certain levels that must be overcoming this walk. First would be your actions, which would cause us casting away the things of the world and grasping to the things of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai by keeping his laws and commandments and loving our neighbors as ourselves through our actions. Next would be adjusting our speech by ordering our conversations aright because life and death are in the power of the tongue. And last is addressing your thoughts because nothing escapes Yahweh, not even the smallest thought of your mind. This is Ezekiel 11 and 4. Therefore prophesy against them. Prophesy, O son of man. And the spirit of the Lord fell upon me and said unto me, Speak, thus saith the Lord. Thus have ye said, O house of Israel, for I know the things that come into your mind, every one of them. So we see that nothing is escaping Yahweh because he knows everything that comes into your mind. So there is no hidden word that is spoken or a hidden thought that escapes him. This is Sirach 42 and 17. The Lord have not given power to the saints to declare all his marvelous works, which the almighty Lord firmly settled, that whatsoever is might be established for his glory. He seeketh out the deep and the heart and considereth their crafty devices. For the Lord knoweth all that may be known. And he beholdeth the signs of the world. He declareth the things that are past and for to come and revealeth the steps of hidden things. No thought escapeth him, neither any word is hidden from him. So we see that the Lord knows all and no word that is hidden or thought can escape him. So no one understand that whatsoever evil action that's performed in a day is known by the heavenly father, even the beginning of it, which is formed by an evil thought. And so the ways of the carnal man that are hidden in this time will be revealed in this time, especially for those who walk carnally in the faith, because the eyes of the Lord are upon you and will reveal all the hidden words and thoughts of the hearts of men by our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. This is Luke 2 and 25. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. And the same man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Ghost was upon him, and it was revealed unto him by the Holy Ghost that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. And he came by the Spirit into the temple, and when the parents brought in the child Yahweh Shai to do for him after the custom of the law, then took he him up in his arms and blessed Yahweh and said, Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word, for mine eyes have seen thy salvation which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. And Joseph and his mother marveled at those things which were spoken of him. 
And Simeon blessed them and said unto Mary his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel, and for a sign which shall be spoken against. Yea, a sword shall pierce through thy own soul also, that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. So when our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai returns, we will know who truly believes in him, who truly loves the way the Lord requires us to love, who truly forgives the way the Lord requires us to forgive, and who show mercy the way the Lord requires us to show mercy, because the thoughts of many hearts will be revealed. Separation by thought. This is Jeremiah 6 and 19. Hear, O earth, behold, I will bring evil upon this people, even the fruit of their thoughts, because they have not hearkened unto my words, nor to my law, but rejected it. So we must understand that the great separator, according to the scriptures, is rejecting the law of Yahweh and also not having faith in Yahweh Shai. This is 2nd Esdras 8 and 55. And therefore ask thou no more questions concerning the multitude of them that perish. For when they had taken liberty, they despised the Most High, thought scorn of his law, and forsook his ways. So in 2nd Esdras 8, the Lord tells Ezra to ask no more questions concerning them that perish, because they thought scorn of his law. Scorn means to think of someone or something being worthless or inferior. So to teach Yahweh's people that the law is no more is teaching his people to show scorn for his law. And those that show scorn of his law, according to the scriptures, will perish. So next we'll bring out a scripture concerning the order of those who died keeping the way of the Lord and the thought they had to overcome that required great effort from them. This is 2nd Esdras 7, verse 88. Now this is the order of those who have kept the ways of the Most High. When they shall be separated from their mortal body, during the time that they lived in it, they laboriously served the Most High and withstood danger every hour that they might keep the law of the lawgiver perfectly. Therefore, this is the teaching concerning them. First of all, they shall see with great joy the glory of him who receives them, for they shall have rest in seven orders. The first order, because they have striven with great effort to overcome the evil thought which was formed with them, that it might not lead them astray from life into death. So we see after death, the order of those that kept the ways of the Most High, they withstood danger every hour to keep the law of Yahweh and strove with great effort to overcome the evil thought. This is Mark 7 and 20. And he said, that which cometh out of the man, that defileth the man. For from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, an evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness, all these evil things come from within and defile the man. So when we begin to understand that all these evil things begin first in the minds of men, then form into words, then manifest in the actions, then we can see how these bad thoughts can separate an individual from the Most High, which is why we must continually think of the Lord with a good heart. This is Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 1. Love righteousness, ye that be judges of the earth. Think of the Lord with a good heart, and in simplicity of heart seek him, for he will be found of them that tempt him not, and showeth himself unto such as do not distrust him. For forward thoughts separate from Yahweh and his power. When it is tried, reprove it the unwise. So we see that forward thoughts separate from Yahweh. Forward thoughts are dealing with perverse thoughts, which are contrary to the instructions of the Lord. The scripture advises to think of the Lord with a good heart. And in doing so, with having faith in Yahweh Shai, we can cast down every imagination and bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Yahweh Shai. 
This is 2 Corinthians 10 and 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Mashiach. So when an evil thought enters into your mind, rebuke the thought immediately in the name of Yahweh Shai. Rebuking your thought shows a sharp disapproval of the thought. So rebuke the thought in the name of Yahweh Shai to bring those thoughts into captivity because the longer you allow the evil thought to fester in your mind, it will take root and grow and has the potential to push you further from Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Establishing thought. This is Proverbs 16 and 3. Commit thy works unto the Lord and thy thoughts shall be established. So we see that establishing thought is predicated upon your level of commitment to Yahweh. And the more you commit your works unto him and speak uprightly concerning him, then will your thoughts be established by him because the Lord will remember those that fear him even those that think upon his name through our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. This is Malachi 3 and 16. Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord, and that thought upon his name. And they shall be mine, saith the Lord of hosts, in that day when I make up my jewels, and I will spare them as a man spareth his own son that serveth him. Then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth God and him that serveth him not. So we see that they that fear the Lord, which means these are they that keep his commandments and keeping his commandments means that you are thinking of the Lord. So keeping Yahweh's commandments and thinking upon his name and speaking often of the Lord warrants the Lord to write a book of remembrance for them that fear him. This is Sirach 6 and 37. Let thy mind be upon the ordinances of the Lord and meditate continually in his commandments. He shall establish thine heart and give thee wisdom at thine own desire. So we see that meditating continually on the Lord's commandments will establish our hearts and this is predicated on you keeping your mind on him and having faith in our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. This is Isaiah 26 and 3. Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. So we see from the scriptures that we've gone over that if we keep our minds on the Lord, meditate continually in his commandments, think upon his name and commit our works unto him, coupled with having faith in our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, then will the evil thought be brought into captivity and our thoughts will be established. And with that, I'd like to give all honor, glory and praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Shalom.